So a couple of tips on accountability and how to build accountability into your culture and into your daily life. The, the word accountability uh, is, a, is a great one when you look at its origin because it actually comes from the, the, the word to, to give an account of, so to be asked to give an account of. And so one of the characteristics of accountability that people often forget is that you can only be accountable in relation to somebody else who is holding you to account. Responsibility is different. You can take responsibility on your own, you can shoulder responsibility and go and make things happen. But accountability is a very unique relationship between two people, the one who is holding to account and the other who is accepting that accountability and making a commitment to deliver something. And so um, that piece about holding to account, it's fascinating, many times clients will go, oh, you know, we've got this real problem, nobody's accountable, and I'm going, well, Probably the problem lies in your ability to learn how to hold people to account. So leaders won't always see that, in fact, it's the skill of the holding to account that creates the culture where people are then able to pick up accountability. And holding to account has several elements, but the most important is to recognize that there is a conversation that needs to happen before a commitment is made, which is a conversation which says, can I count on you? Nice play of words there. Can, can, uh, this is what I want, this is what I need. Are you able to deliver that? So when you get into that level of conversation, rather than just, just telling someone to do something, is not holding them to account. Because they haven't signed up for that. They haven't said, yes, I can count, you can count on me. I can take this on. So there's a, there's a whole process of engagement, negotiation, getting clear, what would it take, can you do that, what's the deadline, is it, is it definite, is it a commitment? You get to that conversation where someone is then able to go, yes, I commit to that, I give you my word. And then, once the word is given, the contract kicks in, right? You then have this contract between you who asks someone to do something and the other person who says, yes, I can do that. Now, this happens as much laterally across organizations, not just between a boss and their people. It all happens between one part of the business and another. It happens between me and the person who is doing some building works in my, in my house. It happens between me and my partner when we agree what we are or not going to do or what we're going to, who's going to do what today. That piece about can I count on you, you can count on me. So most people, when they look at accountability, start to look at what happens at the back end. They look at the consequences. They look at you know, how can I hold, someone's, hold someone to a commitment they made? What do I do if they don't deliver on that? Not enough time, in our view, is spent on the front end. And the better the front end occurs, the more commitment there is at the beginning, the more likely it is that the promise will be delivered. When you get to the second half then, then there is a role of the, the person who is doing the holding to account to just, you know, do that checking if necessary, just a little bit follow up, is it looking like it's going to come on track, so on and so on, so that you, you don't just abandon it, and with some people obviously you have to do more of that with others. And for the other person who's given their word, there is that ability to just keep looking at, is this still going to be doable, do I need to go back and renegotiate, what else is coming my way? How can I take responsibility for managing my time and getting everything sorted out? And then finally, at, you know, that moment where you know, the deliverable is, 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 is due to be given, there is then that, you know, the, 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 the keep score and the keep scoring element about, you know, did, did, was it delivered or not? And is there then some consequence, some reward or some penalty for that? But most of the heavy lifting work happens at the beginning. So that's how we like to think about accountability, again, breaking it down into small pieces and thinking about how we can start to build it. <music>